Hey everybody, it's FS. Uh, any pronoun will do. We're back at Thimbleweed Park. Let's get to it. I want to take another look at this time clock just because I don't get what I'm doing with it. Okay. Okay, there's a door there. Uh, what happens if we keep going? The archway. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna need just. Oop, oh, I saw you. I saw you. Okay. I'm gonna need to just start somewhere and keep going from there, so. It's locked, and there's no handle. Welp. There's no keyhole and no handle. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's not right. Watch walk to archway. Oh, there's two sides to this. Okay, so let's do this side first. Gotta be methodical. Pillowtronics. The mechanized pillow factory of the future. Established 1954. Great. I remember this happy pillow guy. In fact, Uncle Chuck gave me a pillow that looked just like this. Gave me freaking nightmares. <laughs> I don't freaking want to nightmares. That up. When those security lights are all green, the door can be unlocked. Okay. So we need. Looks like we need to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we need to get, like, all these time clocks going at once to make it work. It's a Dortron 3000, but it's missing its tube. Oh, I need a Dortron tube, too. Okay. When those security lights are all green, the door can be unlocked. Nothing happens. Yeah, I assume that just does nothing. Okay, so we need... So this needs a tube. It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. PF001? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't suppose the tube lady is going to know what a PF001 is, then? Uh-huh. Oh, what the heck was this old? It's a heavy-duty restraining strap and bolt, and needs a wrench to loosen it. I don't think... No, the Pigeon Brothers had a wrench. Hmm, you might need to get some pigeons going, huh? Okay. It's an old discharge battery bolted onto the truck. Yeah, it's bolted in. I see another time clock back there, but this truck's in the way. Oh, okay, so we have to move the truck. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now in the off. It looks like the battery is dead. Yeah, okay. So that needs a battery before we can get to that time clock. Okay. What the bub are you doing? Okay. Uh, speckle dust. Speckle dust for me. There's a radiation sign on this silo. Must be radioactive waste. Just your everyday glowing radioactive waste. Yeah, let's get some of I'm that. I'm not touching that slime with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you would. What if we get some in the uh, math trophy? It's now filled to the brim with radioactive waste. Oh, good. Yeah, you, sometimes you just need a math trophy full of radioactive waste to carry around. Makes you feel better about life, you know? Oh, that's Reyes's family. Nice photo. Can I pick it up? Oh, it's a sweet photo, but I'm not picking it up. That's fair. It's a map of the abandoned factory. This tells you where all the time code things are, but we kind of already know that. It's a piece of paper filled with years of filth. It's a scrap of worthless paper. So I assume... Oh, she picked up the worthless paper. Where did where'd it go? She picked it up. Maybe I can just uh, pick it up to clear it away is the thing. Okay. Skanky paper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a this handbook here. This is probably here. filled with clues and puzzle solutions. Oh, uh -huh. Let's pick all of them up just to make sure. Okay. Security handbook. security. Check into the security box. Within five minutes, the last box. Correct time is entered. The station light will turn green. SR one's been disengaged. Uh, factor AI. Yeah, yeah. CO is the only one with the proper instructions for resetting the PF001 for security and time code information called 4612. Okie okay, dokie. Artichoke. Hotel has the best phone. Hotel has the easiest phone to use. That's what we found. Go faster. 
Okay, so that was 4612. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 7, 15. Okay, that's cool. We can't do anything with that at this point in time, I don't think. Okay, um, let's go B Street. Yeah, it's B Street. Let's check out the tube store and see if she'll know anything about this PF001. Oh, what are you doing? What are you what are you doing over Hi, there, Ricky? Dolores. Guess I could have let her speak Welcome if Ricky. Do you have a PF001 tube in stock? Oh, the PF001 is a top secret tube that only Chuck knew about. But I have never seen one in person. I don't have any in stock, but I think there was only one or two produced. But if I had the design for one, I could probably make it for you. Okay. I have to go now. See you soon. So if we find the blueprint for the PF001, we can get it. I like how we're just carrying around a trophy of radioactive waste now. Okay. Uh, but, uh... So he has the thing. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Okay. So I kind of want to call the Pigeon Brothers to see what we need for that wrench. I'm sure we can't get it yet, but it's worth starting us on there. Who's 2686? So much of this game is dialing phone numbers. Talking Hello, on the phone you simulator. Reach Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Okie dokie. Okay, so that kind of puts all that. It's a small wooden figure with matte carved into the base. Where it can be for now. Oh, 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 we can be Agent Ray again. Okay. Uh, I have things to do first. Voila! Now it's ice cream ghost cake. Yeah, yeah, we figured that one out while we were, uh... Oh, it's just the... Would you like this... Well, we know, were not playing the game. Cake? We're like, wait, oh we could chill the cake. shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Oh, you know. Let's so, just Clara, ask him. Do you know? Let's run her dialogue tree. I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too. I think. I just remember a flash, and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. Yeah, there sounds like it. Creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. You yeah, the first, up, and it's first 50 years are the hardest. Them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching hospital hijinks. Hmm. That show is so funny. Okay. That's important enough that we can get that at any time. Right, we can change the TVs. Right, we did that as frankly, and we could change the TV to whatever we wanted. Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a Fustalugs and a Clasomaniac. Fustalugs and a Clasomaniac, too. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know. We... This is it. How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel oh. beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the penthouse has the way where we'll need to get the Book of the okay. Dead and all that. But you know, please go to the penthouse now. Oh, 
All right, I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, Let's you know, just go there for now. Confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Okay. So can I? I can't change characters while I'm in here. Okay. I was gonna try and bring uh, Reyes in. Okay. Let's go to the penthouse. Ooh. Oh, my toys will never get made. <laughs> oh, my toys. Oh. Just some sick beats for you while I we can't were believe waiting. I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Okie dokie. Let's. That looks like the secret. What's going on? Whoa. Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Okay, so he can get here. He can't go through there. Ooh, glowing crystal, huh? It's a speck of dust. Stay away from my crystal. We can share the crystal. Look at window. Better than the view from the balcony. I. Stay away from I don't remember my how crystal. we picked up the ghost cake because we can't pick things a up. New ghost. I told you Maybe not we just to talk to me. someone to pick it up. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. <laughs> damn, damn it, dude. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never. Oh, you're get a jerk. It. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. Yeah? But hypothetically, if you hypothetically. were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. <laughs> okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Oh, that's easy. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. Okay, he won't Great let view. me I do anything with that. From here. Okay. <laughs> so... If Reyes tries to go to the penthouse, can he do that? Uh, we'll look at we'll look at what Ray's up to in a minute. I swear we'll do that this episode. I'm just on a different string right now. Okay, so can he use it, or will she still stop him? Okay, she'll still stop anybody who's That's not. Weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Oh, oh, go out. So she's still. I'm screwing this all up. So she'll still stop anybody that's not, um... Jeremy, Jeremyson, Franklin. That's his full name. Jeremy, Jeremyson, Franklin, Edwards, Chuck. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. I don't want to pick that up. So I need to give this TV some battery so that she can come out and get distracted by it and then we can use the elevator is my theory right now because i don't see like any room has a tv but i think it needs to be this one it's locked okay i assume can you zap the, the tv isn't on this floor it's a button to call the elevator use it his things annoy us okay so what if we go to the 10th floor and he zaps the tv will that give it enough power or this channel is just static i should find enough what is that on the oh, tv yeah 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 here we go <sighs> nothing interesting back to duty yeah I, i'm i'm still flipping channels on huh? it's now showing banana banana bananas it's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soap. It's now showing hospital hijinks. There we go. 
company. Thank. Bye and good luck, Clara. Okay. What if he opens the hospital, the hospital doors, the elevator doors? Oh my! It's my favorite hospital hiding. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So she's distracting now. Great. Let's get Reyes on the top floor since he has the Book of the Dead anyways. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Clara's in so much trouble next time I see her. I'm sorry, Clara. I didn't want to get you in trouble. You know how things go. So he can't interact with the crystal. But at least we have a speck of dust. Can he open this door? Yeah! Speck of dust. It looks like a book can be placed here. Yeah. I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the dead. Ugh! Smells awful! So what does it need from the dead? I think it needs to be glowing Oops. to be- Wrong button, wrong button. There's a living object found in proximity to the grave you wish to visit. Um, so that would be the flower, which Ray has. I need to get into the factory to steal, uh, I mean, find the secret to the AI. So we're not going to talk about the fact that last time I saw you, you were on this table. Okay. I think Ray's a robot. That's my wild guess. Okay, let's get you to the hotel. Because we found that flower by the grave. Oh, we got an elevator again. Well, back to it's so slow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's so slow. I'm just, I don't have anything to say right now, because we're just waiting on this. I'm not going to cut this out. You all have to deal with it if I have to. Okay. Use flower on Book of the Dead. The book is glowing. Okay. I don't know what words to say to cast the spell. Maybe only certain people can read the spell itself. Stay out of trouble. Thanks. I don't know what words to say to cast the spell. Maybe only certain people can read the spell itself? So can Franklin? Oh, yeah. The you're... elevator isn't on this. It's a button to call the elevator. Yeah, I know, dude. Zap it. I die. See, everybody else, when I right click on the elevator button, is like, oh, I'll, I'll just use it. And he's like, oh, it's the button to call the elevator because I can't auto zap. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. So do you? I might need to move them out of the way. They are in the way. Okay. Do you know the words for the Book of the Dead? Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbonius Jumbonius. Uh -huh. Let me visit my dead relatives. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Ha ha ha. And now. Presto. It's open for everybody. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. I, yeah, nobody knows you're dead, dude. Okay. So this is all taken care of. I don't of. know what words to say to cast the spell. Um. Send Ray to the cemetery. I'm just arbitrarily choosing for this one. It's much too heavy to open, and I don't think I'd want to anyway. It's Chuck Edmonds' final resting place. Okay, so I'm in here. Uh. It's a big electrical knife switch, straight out of Frankenstein. To what end am I in here? Okay, he's... Oh, he just needs to escape into the afterlife now. I don't know how he does that, but that's all he needs. What if I send Dolores to Chuck's tomb? The, the bus station. 
I've read Buster Curry by accident, and I'm like, this game don't have our name. It's Uncle Chuck's sarcophagus. Hope he's resting well. It's much too heavy to open. Okay. And I don't think I'd want to anyway. Okay. Oh, right, we had to get open the tomb for the will. Right, 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 right. I remember why we needed this now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reyes. Reyes, you are going to the factory to see the picture of your family. That's pretty good, though. We opened the tomb. We used the Book of the Dead, which we've been wondering about for a while now. Pretty, pretty good times. Was it? No, it was this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was cute as a kid. I miss dad. There's his watch in the photo. It would be nice to have this photo of my family. I'll leave it here as evidence until Aww. after we're all done. Don't take it. The watch is just dangling I there. I was cute as a kid. Oh. I miss dad. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken. And only a professional will... We need that to get all of... That's gonna go here. Okay, I get it now. That's why we need that back. Um. Well, I hate to say this, y'all, but I don't know what the hell else we have to do. Uh, does anybody have something that we can actually do right now? Can you just escape into the afterlife now? What's what's the frequency, Kenneth? Some weird power is keeping me close to the portal to the hotel. I can't get over there. Okay. Well. Just send him back, I guess. So he could go to other dead people if he found other dead people's things. It's interesting, maybe. I think I think it's time to call our old friend the hint line because I am stumped once again. I'm just going over like it four, four six eight. Yes, we forget the number every time. I'm just I don't know what else I need to do right now, even. Like I don't know which thread I can even chase. Welcome back to the hint. How can I? Oh, clearly I need, I need to decrypt the will somehow. Dolores gives you a hint about it being his winning lottery number. Given he won big, who would know or have kept a record of this number? If you go to Nickel News and hover your cursor over the top, new go oh. back to Dolores's computer and use the will on the. Thank you. Oh, oh, I completely forgot about that. Okay. Like, it's hard to... There's so much in this game sometimes, it's hard to remember details like that. Okay. Completely forgot about all of these, even though we looked at all of them. I We just kind of threw out the information, clearly. So what's this? Lucky number 129. Okay. Now we just go back home and use lucky number 129. Easy. I genuinely hope nobody minds us using the hint line so much, but I don't think this game would be fun if it was just us looking around for, like, insane amounts of times, just, like, poking everywhere because we're lost. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have been cr Okay, here goes. Uh, it's greater than 100. It's got to be odd, because it's 129. Oh, he starts with an odd number. That's the, the rest one. of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. 
I'll just bit wise and them away. Okay. I did it. Let's look at the well. Okay. Nothing nothing I interesting on in what we can it's see. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Want to see if there were any uh, fun fun things we could learn looking at it. Nothing for now. Okay. Yes, Dolores. Do you I think have a I can just talk to him. And get this going. I had a feeling the tomb has been opened. Yes, it has been opened. My tomb alarm tomb went off. Tomb alarm. Well, I didn't open it. No need to be modest, Dolores. Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Hooray. Part five, the reading. Well, that should be a short part. Just gonna read the will, right? Now all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. <laughs> I, Charles Edmund, the... being of sound mind and body, do Digging hereby declare tomb. this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. <laughs> ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server uh, farm be built in its uh -oh. place. You got it. Turns out you can't trust rich what? people. Ooh. <laughs> Doug likes farms. <laughs> the destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Thanks. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Thanks. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yeah, Yay! Doug win. Well, good day. Doug W you forever. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. D <laughs> oh, that was the short part. Okay. <laughs> okay. Going into the factory Something now. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Okay, what's the... It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. There's a schematic of his secret PF-001 tube on the front. Just like the one needed at the factory. Yeah, I kind of I kinda figured that'd be the case. Okay, let's... B Street. Let's get that turned into a real tube so we can start uh, doing our thing. Give shirt to Ricky. Hi, Lee. Dolores. Ricky, take a look at my T-shirt. Can you make the tube in the schematic? Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. So, do you think he yes, did this on this purpose, knowing that Dolores would fi find it, or do you think he was really just uh, being a joke? I mean, it seems like mostly he was a joik. Here's the PF-001 tube, exactly how Chuck designed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, they don't start at the gate anymore at the factory. I just noticed that. Interesting. Okay. Hi, Reyes. Yeah, just doing a little shrug, huh? Okay. It fits perfectly. So now the time clock can be used. However, however, now we need to fix the watch, which we're still working on. We need the other time. Okay. Somehow we need a theremin. Theremin record, which I still haven't found. Uh, any of you at the hotel? No. Okay. I don't remember the Pigeon Brothers number. Need to go look that up again. 
How do I know the fast? Maybe is there one on the quickie pal? Maybe. Is there a hip flyer right on the quickie pal? No. Just trying to find the quickest hint flyer for the future, but I've really. The quickest one is the one with the flashing light on it, which we would rather not use. Not the hint flyer. Well, phone book is what I need right now, huh? I don't even need the hint flyer. I just need the phone book. I forget what I'm doing in the middle of doing it. Okay, can we get Pigeon Brothers out now? Because we need their wrench. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal. Please try it. Okay. Now, what if. What if. It only just has escape into the afterlife left. They knew. You'd have to get rid of Xavier Sorry for, for that, you. huh? Okay. 2686. It's elevator time! <laughs> I don't know if he can zap the phone. However, however, he is paranormal. So that should interest the Pigeon Brothers, right? Oh, Ray, you're in the way! You've reached Pigeon Brothers. We don't monkey. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out. Please try us again. Ah, okay. Paranormal related plumbing. It's pretty paranormal, right? Yeah, yeah, Ray, Ray reacts to that. Okay, can I now... Welcome to the Edmund How may... Uh, I'm going to check. Goodbye. Okay. But she can't... But she just has a phone. Be nice if all the characters just had phones. Hello, we don't monk the signals or please try... Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's not... That's not working right now. Uh, okay. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Is this the hint line number? I don't remember. I think it is, though. Is it 4468? I just need another... I need another Welcome cook right now. Help. I need a thread to follow. Oh, something about a pocket watch. I need Someone a theremin record. Miniature models. Thank you. I have the tools. I... What I need is the theremin record. Welcome back. Help. Something else. Use the trophy filled with radio. Thank you. Oh. Well, that's a thread to follow, at least. Because if we use that, everybody who keeps going through it will actually leave prints behind. Better not contaminate the water while someone's watching. That guy or Better not ransom. contaminate the water while someone's watching. Ransom, you dork, get out of here. Just I don't care where you go. Go to the factory for all I care. Okay. Now if I leave and come back. I get how do I spawn one of those guys to like walk through it? And uh, leave and come back a couple times. It's a puddle full of muddy radioactive. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Um, 
I, I definitely know what the puzzle is now, but now I need someone to actually walk through it so they can leave footprints behind that we can follow. There we go. Somebody did it. Thank you. Thank you, somebody. Whoever you are, wherever you may be, you did it. Huh. Huh. Ouch! Well, don't touch it. Genius. It's a locked, bolted, and electrified gate. Well, they really don't want me in here, it's huh? It's a security keypad. Um... It's a pizza van. But I can't get to it with the gate closed. Okay, so picture this. It's a keypad. Keypads have buttons. What else has buttons? It's a phone. So what if I look up the phone number for Woody's Pizza Shack and then... It's out of order. I didn't need that. Ba -ba -ba. Woody's Pizza Shack is not in the phone book. There goes that plan, huh? Okay. I found Woody's Pizza Shack. Huh. Well, this isn't as exciting as I was hoping. Finding where all the people in the forest were going would be. Okay. I, I'm calling the hint line again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just confused. I just don't. I don't know what the next step is right Welcome now. Welcome back is to the, the problem. The pigeon sisters had a wrench in their toolbox. Yeah. Do you still have the pigeon sisters? Yeah. Have you read the Pigeon Sisters? Have you given the pig? Yes, I have. The Pigeon Sisters, where do you know that paranormal? The hotel. At some point, if not, look around the hotel to- Thank you, goodbye. There's a nervous hotel guest somewhere around the hotel. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Huh. Okay, well, it's nobody in ThimbleCon, clearly. It's not you. Okay, so he keeps going, I wonder what the guest is up to now. Okay, I think we need to wait for him to be using his kombooper again, then. I can see you looking at me. I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. This is Essential Abu Hotel Abu Business Abu, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. Well, he stops that when he's looking. But he won't stop it for you looking. Room 1103. Okay. Of course. Of course it's up at the top. So you need you need some wacky shit to happen to your pull the strange pigeon brothers. Again, must have faulty wiring. What was that? Again, must have faulty wiring. Oh! What on earth is all that? <laughs> that poor man. I've got to help a boo him. Hello, Acme Maintenance. It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu Acme right now. Acme Maintenance. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? Okay. There's supposed to be a 24-hour service Areno Abu. Areno. Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? Huh. 
Well, maybe I imagined it. Okay. And now you can give this to the manager. I heard a rumor your maintenance people aren't available tonight. Why don't you try the Pigeon Brothers? Why, Abu, that's exactly what we need. Thank you so much, Abu. Okay. <laughs> I assume that we'll get the Pigeon Brothers here. Uh, I guess let's, let's refresh the hotel. Well, they just spawned over here. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, huh. What if I... What if I give the watch? Maybe that will update the hint so I can start getting hints about the theremin record. What I was thinking at first was pour the thing, the radioactive waste on the record and turn it into theremin sounds, but that... That sounds too bananas. I'm innocent! Can you fix It was agent here's my watch. I can't cry. I love their Yeah, so he won't even take the watch until It doesn't have any buttons. Oh, stupid phone. So he won't even take the watch until not theremin music is playing, but I don't know where I get theremin music. Sure, it's someplace I have completely forgotten has a record or something. Welcome, Alkin. <sighs> something about a pocket watch. Willie will fix the watch. You need to get a theremin record. Yeah, yeah, I know. While the theremin record is playing, get Ray as to thank you. Yeah, but where's the theremin re theremin record? Okay. Where's, where's Theremin record? We interrupt our hostile takeover, non-stop music with she this important She has records message. back there. I barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government. She has records back there. Maybe I just, actually you need to go to the tower. Uh, I'm gonna throw down another save once uh, he's up there. Because I don't think we need to move Ransom until he hits that lever again. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. Can you climb it faster? I get the joke. The Can you do it faster? Please. Faster would be Waste nice. Time. Waste of my time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. All this climbing just to so Put down a save. Uh, ba -da, ba -da. This is our last like extra save. Now I better get out of here. No, we're, we're... Reyes is in the wrong spot, regardless. So mark that down. For now, I just wanna. This record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really like this music. Like, there's no... Okay. There's no... I can't look at her records. Where do I get the theremin record? It's a piece of sticky tape. Where do I get the theremin record? Welcome, Palkin. Thank you. I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I was just looking at hits available. Well, how? Where's the ding dang theremin record? Well, the theremin record. Thank you. What theremin record? Okay, I'm I'm googling it.
Okay. Okay. I found out how to get the theremin record. Okay. He actually needs to not be on the ladder. I'm very sorry to say. Oh, the secret bunker's there now. Okay. That's the Willy's Pizza Hut, right? Wee wee. Yeah, okay. So, he needs to go back to the circus. I might have seen this and I might have missed it. Drives me crazy. Speck of dust. No. I don't, I don't even see what it's this walkthrough is telling me to do. It's my old trampoline. No, not the trampoline. This Bring speck of memories. dust, please. I need to be higher to jump on it. Okay, so the walkthrough said you need to bring Dolores over. I didn't read all of it. I didn't read all of it. But it did say you need to bring Dolores over. And she needs to do something with the trampoline. No way am I jumping on this old trampoline. Hi there. <laughs> Hi. That's too far to jump from here. So can I push it closer? I'll just keep pushing it until it's... Oh, that pushed it back the other way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So I go from here, and I use the trampoline. Oh, yeah, there's our last... Wish I could have known it was there. That would have helped. <laughs> so he can't... Okay, what if I... Push this closer to this trailer. I don't know why why we need Dolores yet. But it did it said something about Dolores, so That's I just brought her here. Left, I can move it. They'll have to push it to move it to the right. Hey, spotter, you're in the wrong spot. Oh, he like needs a spotter. Be careful. I see. Okay then. Here I go. Get it. Get it. Get the joke page. Get the joke page. Get it. Get the joke page. Get the joke page. Get the joke page. Did the walkthrough give me a hint for this? Okay, I think I'm just supposed to grab it. I guess. Guess I am just supposed to grab it. it. Oh, cool, cool. No, okay. I'm jumping. It's the one time in the game it doesn't show you any commands. That's weird. I can see when we Google Theremin Wrecker, a few other people were stuck here, and I assume it's because you really can't see that the lost page is there. I kind of don't like that as a puzzle because of that. TBQH. But you know. It's my life. My my feelings. Okay, I need to use this in the joke Got book. The page stuck back into the joke book. Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. A knife. Someone's gonna get shanked at the ransom contest. Thank you all for coming to witness the ransom lookalike contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? <laughs> huh, stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. Will That's you? right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. Ooh, that's I get some to be cake Corey. you got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman lookalike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. He's too nice. You've got to be. He's too nice. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. 
Yeah. I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? <laughs> Who are you? Why do I bother? I have big hair. He does. Oh my! That's funny. <laughs> Am I missing something here? This is a good bit. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people <laughs> and lost them in their own right. You should be thanking them for keeping the town running. When you believe the propaganda. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town. They're a pain in the time. ass is what they There's are. There's no reason not to rely on them. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this <laughs> since the Manson family. Don't you know it's disrespectful to speak of the dead that way? Especially the faultless Chuck Edmund. Bunch of <laughs> ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Oh, I bet he's gonna be real good. Give it up for Corey. Yeah, let's go, Corey. Bloop, bloop, it bleep, bloop. It's beef for sake, <laughs> not bloop. <laughs> like Don't the guy entering me. and leaving again. I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. Is it? <laughs> Ransom, ransom, so smart. You're all silly billies, but you're still that's, lovable. That's how I oh, feel about everybody watching. Now. You're all silly billies, all two of you. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is obviously Corey. They didn't even judge the looks. They only judge the like. Wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega I thought that's a company. Mega Man toy company. I was like, oh man, he gets to design the next Robot Master. Toy store buy that already. <laughs> Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. I feel like any Michael Which Jackson joke is kind of aged, even to... after. What was your name, anyway? It even this coming idiot. out like 2017. Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. <laughs> Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. <laughs> so third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. There we go. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. Theremin. Okay. So what we need to do now. It's a crappy recording of theremin music. Big whoop. Big whoop. Big whoop was the uh, treasure in Monkey Island 2. That's, I assume, why they actually capitalized the whole thing there. Okay, what I need, what I really want, is somebody to give this record to. Can't give it to Reyes, because he has other needs in this situation. Give it to Ray. Okay. Here, free therapy record for you. For me. Okay. So let's get... I'm just going to do it, since we've known this puzzle for, like, ages now. Oh, he gets to walk the ladder one last time, folks! One last time, let's give it up for Ransom the Clown! Climb oh, the ladder, yeah! Clown to climb the ladder! I give my life, no, not for honor, but for you, Ransom the Clown. <laughs> Can't make it funnier Stupid than that. Ladder. Waste of my time. I'm still playing thimbleweed with Stupid. Ransom the Clown. Okay. 
You go to the station where they play all the hits. You get... Oh, right, you have to open the doors. We interrupt get on the floors. Okay. And you get to Main Street. Okay, so you're in position. Uh, let's throw down a save. Let's throw down another safety. Oh, I saved over God knows what game. What game did I save over? Oh no, the last one. That's okay. It's it's there. I can't do anything about it now, can I? Use the lever. Now I better get out of here fast. Hmm, no, we're, we're off the air again. Okay, switch to Ray. Get in here. Uh, use the mem record on turntable. Use lever. What a big lever. Use it. Not just look at it. Phew. What a climb. Okay, we're back on the air. Now you give this to Willie. I'm innocent. Can you fix? Just, just fix the watch. You fix the watch. Here's my watch for you to fix. Hey, you have that great theremin music playing. Okay, hand it over. This guy. This guy knows good music. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. Cool. It's my father's old pocket watch. Ugh, what is that awful noise? The Smiths <laughs> must be trying to brainwash me. <laughs> brainwash what you with theremin my music. Control booth? Federal agent investigating suspicious activity. Leaving now. All done. She's really gonna get paranoid after that one. How'd this get here? It's a new record okay. for your collection. All back to normal again. Okay. The watch is fixed. So at this point, mostly what we need to do next is let's get it set up. So we're gonna go to the factory, but first we need that that thing out of the way, which means we need the Pigeon Brothers. Have you called? Did you call the Pigeon Welcome Brothers? The Edmund Hope. How? I'm going good. Okay, they were on like the eleventh floor, right? He's still up here. Where are, where are the Pigeon Brothers? I gave you their card. Did you call them or what? Where are they? Where are those, those pigeons? Their number 2686? Hello, you've reached. We don't, Monk. The signals are really strong today. Please try it. So, yeah, he got the card to call them, but he, they are not here that I can see. I wonder what the guest is up to now. I can see you. I'm not. This is. E Unless they're outside. Are they outside? I know I said I was gonna wrap up, but I want to know where the Pigeon Brothers are. Maybe he needs to go back down to the lobby. Oh, I need to wrap up the video, but I really want to know what the pig with the Pigeon Brothers is. Maybe if he goes here, the Pigeon Brothers will like what? Sh what can't I leave? show up. I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. No, well, he took Ooh. he took the card. Uh, I might just look it up off screen, figure out what the what the flag I'm missing here is, because we we need them to get that last thing out of the way at the factory. We need that wrench. So I guess next time I'll I'm just gonna look up how we do that. I guess because everything is in place at this point, except for the Pigeon Brothers, and that's just frustrating me because they should be here by all I have done, right? Well, oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I... The effect would be better if someone was using it. Uh, no, I didn't watch you moving. What if... 
I splash you. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Ah. What if I splash you now? Oh, what that again? Take a deep breath and think calm thoughts. I'm. What if I zap your stuff? Blow on the bell. Zap the bell? That doesn't use electricity. Uh huh. Where are the pigeon brothers? Oh. Where are the pigeon brothers? Where are they? I'm just gonna have to look it up. Where are the pigeon brothers? Well, back to work, Abu. Oh, oh, oh. What if. What if I make more crazy stuff happening on screen now? A little more crazy stuff. <sighs> this video is gonna be so long, I'm sorry. We haven't played Thibbleweed in a couple days, and we really like this game. So, what if I. What was that? If I zap. If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. I want them to get suspicious! Okay. Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. There we that go. There we go. Maybe there we go. Can help Abu him. Poultry Brothers plumbing, Abu? We've got a <laughs> Poultry brothers. emergency, Abu, right now. You can be here right away. But thank Abu, you. Are they you gonna signal that you're in need of some paranormal plumbing and electrical help? Thanks. Let me know when you're done. There's the wrench. That looks high tech, but I don't think zapping it will help. Okay. Well, that's all in position. Can I just? Oh my god! I need to stop. What the hell? I didn't mean to click the telephone for once in this game. You guys, you guys aren't free until I get that wrench. No, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna try walking him up and grabbing it. And if that doesn't work, then I'm stopping the video for now. I promise. <laughs> Seriously. They wanted to stop for like the past 10 minutes, but I finally got off puzzle chain. I'm like, oh, the puzzle chain, the puzzle chain is here. They're spending half this video like, where is the puzzle? Oh, you can just grab the wrench. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought there would be another puzzle there. Next time, next time, Thimbleweed Park, we get to actually start on getting these time clocks going, getting into the factory. And that's going to be really exciting. Let me save on camera for you all. Uh, kind of, kind of a really long one today, but it'd been a while, it'd been a couple days, and we really wanted to play Thimbleweed, and there was a bunch of stuff going on in this video, clearly, so, you know. Anyways, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.